Why do turtles eat plastic? Well, they love to eat jellyfish and floating plastic bags look a lot like jellyfish. So it's not a great surprise that turtles actively seek out and eat plastic, like floating plastic bags. Globally, around one third of all turtles are likely to have eaten plastic of some form. But lots of marine animals mistake plastic for food, such as fish, seals and whales. In fact, at least 690 marine species are known to have had encounters with plastic marine debris, either eaten it or become entangled in it. And of those species, at least 17% are vulnerable. They're listed as either near threatened, endangered or critically endangered. Seabirds such as albatross, gannets, shearwaters and petrels are particularly vulnerable. Albatross are pelagic birds, which means they're out at sea for months, even years at a time. And during the breeding season, partners share the load of foraging at sea to bring back food home for their chick. They search for food by smell, flying hundreds of kilometres low over the water. Flying perpendicular to the wind, uh, across the wind, not only saves energy, it also increases your chances of finding an odour plume from a dead fish or rotting squid that's floating on the water's surface. Once they've found a whiff of food, they change direction. They turn to fly upwind. As they get closer, they'll zigzag back and forth to maximise the chance of keeping track of that odour trail. But they also home in on the smell of algae, as large concentrations of algae can mean lots of fish. And this is where it all goes wrong. Algae grows over the surface of plastic so that plastic smells just like the bird's food. And as plastic floats, it's easily accessible to the seabirds. So although they've flown thousands of kilometres prowling the open ocean, those scent trails lure them straight to floating plastic. Imagine all that hard work to end up slowly starving, your stomach full, but full of plastic. But remember, they're not only feeding themselves, they're out there fishing to take home food for their young ones. Instead of taking home fish or squid, they bring back plastic to feed the hungry chick. Unfortunately, many of these seabirds are already at risk. So where's all this plastic coming from? Well, all over the world. The darker the colour on this figure, the more mismanaged plastic that country has. So more likely their plastic will end up in the ocean. New Zealand, Namibia, Oman, the Scandinavians and Canadians all have the lightest colours. They're doing the best, they all get gold stars. But it doesn't matter who produces this marine plastic because once it's in the ocean, it travels in ocean gyres around the world. Inside the gyres, the water is stationary and it's here that plastic accumulates. Over time, garbage patches form. The most well-known of these is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. But there's one in each of our ocean basins. Around 8 million tonnes of plastic enters our oceans each year. That's equivalent to 16 shopping bags full of plastic for every metre of coastline, excluding Antarctica. But the rate at which plastic goes into the ocean is increasing. How about your weekly shop? The container your apples come in, or the plastic bags that you put them in? These are all single-use plastics. How do we get out of the shops without using any of these single-use plastics. Well, for a start, those plastic bags. One trillion single-use plastic bags will be made globally in 2019. Replacing these with these would seem to be a really easy start. And lots of countries have banned plastic bags already. Rwanda did it back in 2008. Bottled water. In Australia, we use 118,000 tonnes of single-use water bottles every year, and that's just Australia. By the way, our tap water is fine, often better tasting than the stuff you buy in a bottle, unless you live in Adelaide, or if you're buying that lovely Norwegian water, but you get my many. So replacing these with these and providing water taps around town easily eliminates another 200,000 tonnes of plastic every year. Councils, we need a couple of taps. So managing our waste is so important. Did you know that only about 40% of those plastic bottles are recycled? The rest go to landfill or to our waterways. Water bottles will take at least a thousand years to biodegrade, but that doesn't mean it's gone. 
just that it's broken down into thousands, even millions of tiny pieces into microplastics. But that's another story.